mail day. Professor Joe here again, and we got kind of like a new style video we're doing. We're doing a, uh, I would just say, like a mail day mystery bag. Trying to remember horrible memory with what we ordered and uh, seeing what we got. I mean, I think I can kind of guess there's like a Poké Center one, there's a couple Rip and Ships, there's uh, singles, um, and of course there's packs. So lots of fun, lots to rip today, so we gotta get to it. Let's go. Um, we'll save um, this guy second last, and this guy third last. Ooh, it's like Christmas, trying to guess what you guys got. Um, and so we'll just kind of rip through some of these smaller ones first. Ooh, this one's heavy. How's everyone doing these days? It is a lovely, lovely set of like hot days in a row here in Canada, so I'm not disappointed. Oh my god, jeez. Let's go with the, like this. Let's go colored. Okay. Anyways, so it's been a fun time for collecting. As you can see, there's, um, what? Paradox Rift. There's, um, 151 out. Oh my god, what the heck is that? That's so cute. It's like a pack of Pokemon candies. <laughs> That's so cool. I've never seen that. And then we got some singles. What do we got here? What do we got here? I can't open anything. Let me see if I can just... There we go. Yeah, 151's been out for a little while. Um, we got Paradox Rift, which I still haven't picked up yet. Some cute singles here. Looks like it was a couple of modern sets, maybe. Um, Scarlet and Violet and Bass, um, sorry, Paldea and stuff. So, some singles. I mean, the candies were cute. But, uh... Yeah, I know. I I gotta get to Paradox Rift. I know everyone's been talking about it. It's been really cool um, seeing all the uh, market updates, which is really nice, considering most of the most of the uh, cards from the last couple sets have been pretty dead, which is too bad because if anyone's out there just for flipping, doesn't help. Obviously, I'm in it for the collecting hobby side. I'm just destroying this package. Oh my god. I knew this video would kind of turn into something like this, so hopefully I can do this without killing myself. <laughs> um, and then just today, it was, uh, I want to say it's Paldean, oh, what is it, Paldean Fates? Oh, my boy's at TV trading. Um, Paldean Fates was released on the Poké Center, which is pretty cool, considering they kind of, people have been saying that there's not really much Ooh, this is a bunch of Japanese cards. Not really much uh, coming out. Oh my god, I forgot the Pikachu, guys. Let's take a look at that. Holy moly. That is still one of the best cards. And it's from the Japanese pack, too, I believe. That's really cool. And on the back side is just a golem. But uh, 151 Pikachu there. Alright, let's put that up for now. <laughs> And, uh, and so yeah, Paldean Fates, another shiny set. Obviously, some people are saying that's not their favorite thing because not much value in shinies, but I love a good shiny card. I do, I really do. And uh, I'm excited for it. I already ordered my ETB from the Pokemon Center, which will be my first exclusive ETB from the Pokemon Center. So for me, that's really exciting. Oh my gosh, okay. This one's well packaged. Definitely no moving around. Let me see if I can just, without damaging anything. There we go. And um, and yeah, no, I'm excited for a shiny set. What set would this be from? I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. In the comments, please tell me what set this is from. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, no, I'm still excited for shiny cards. I'm a big fan of them. That's pretty cool. Wiggly Tough. Ooh. Lily Gant. And, uh, and so, you know, whatever you want to collect is yours. I get, uh, 
Oh, these are double sided. I get that. Oh, my girl, doll live. So for me, I like the shinies. A lot of people like full arts. A lot of people like alt arts, secret rares. Put those there for now. And, uh, but I like a good shiny. I mean, for me, I guess alt arts right now, I wouldn't say are the best, the best they've ever been. I think Pokemon's doing a killer job when it comes to um, art and they need they need to be recognized and I think it's finally coming to fruition with the newest set Paradox Rift where oh my gosh where basically the card value is working out equal to the amazing art and then also for the TCG fans out there shout out the TCG fans that actually played the sport or hobby the um the playability of the set is really neat, so something I have to learn. Definitely a new dynamic with the, uh, oh, oh, here we go. New dynamic with the uh, Ancient and Future cards. So for me, that's pretty cool. This one is heavily wrapped. I hope it's not just, it is. Oh boy, what is it? Okay, so it's a single card in a, looks like I wanna say it's like a cat. <laughs> a couple of cats on the box. Okay, looks decent. Definitely played. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video here. We're just going to go. Oh, let's go. It's uh, it's the Mewtwo from Pokemon Go. As you all know, I'm a huge Mewtwo fan. And I don't want to spend any money on buying packs to rip for this. But that is a beautiful card. Wow. It is as cool as everyone says. I want to say it's maybe like light played. Light played. Yeah, but it's still really neat. I don't know. I'm a huge fan of uh, Mewtwo. So that that deserves a sleeve. That deserves a hard shell probably too, actually. It can be next to our Pikachu from Japanese 151. I'm going to give it a new sleeve just because the last one looked like it had been... I don't I didn't even know. Did it sit inside the box with a cat litter? I hope not. Let's give it a hard shell too, because that deserves, that deserves it. It's my boy. I'm gonna have to add this to our uh, binder, our YouTube binder. Nice. That is really cool. You go there now. Okay. We're halfway done. We're halfway done, which is <laughs> always fun. I hope there's some, I swear there's some packs to it. And if not, I, I got some extras. We got some fun ones to rip open too. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of cards in this. There is a lot of cards in this one. Oh, spoiler. <laughs> if anyone saw it. I remember this now, guys. This was one of the most fun I had ever on a, uh, on a live stream rip and ship. Uh, let's start with the this set of cards. Okay, let's go one by one. Oh, these are the energies. Okay, so we know it's 151 with the cosmic energies here. We know it's got to be... Yeah, oh, this one has a lot of swirls. Let's go. Okay. Another fighting. A psychic. And, uh... <laughs> wait, these were packaged. It's sort of spoiling it. Uh, I want to slow roll these, so I'm going to have to find a way to do that. Uh, oh, they're back to back to back to backs. Okay. Well, this was part of a, uh, a channel called the Poke Office. Shout out to the Poke Office and Bonitis, of course. And it was a uh, Crown Zenith versus 151 Night. And uh, let's just jump right to it. The... Uh, the night was a success for me, I would say, when it comes to hits. And uh, the very first pull of the night was this. The Mewtwo from Crown Zenith, covered in tape right now because of the outside. But that is by far the best Mewtwo I think I have right now when it comes down to art. And that is, I feel like I'm destroying the, there we go. Come on, focus up. Come on, 
Come on. There we go. That is incredible. That is one of the best cards we got ever. And I'm pretty sure when it comes to grading this, I'm going to 100% grade it. It's definitely one of my first I'm going to grade. And I think it might actually come out as a 10. Like, it definitely has no, nothing of concern right off the bat when looking at it. Damn. That is so cool. That is so cool. I need to top load that again. But let's go through these two. So this is from the 151 gold card. And then we got some, some beauties. We got Zashian V-Star and Zorora V. We got a Radiant Charger Bug, of course. Classic, classic Crown Zenith cards here. We got a Marie from that full photo version of the outdoors and Pokemon stuff. We got we got Hop, not a big not a big pull there, but that's fine. It's a pull. We got Leon, not to be confused with Leon Hart or that other guy on YouTube. <laughs> we got Magmortar. I want to show these off better. We got Magmortar. There we go. Which is a really cool card too. We got some penny sleeve ones. We got Sky Steel Seal Stone. Sort of a hit, I guess, nowadays because of how expensive it got. And we got some 151s coming along. Um, we got oh, we got more. I wonder if we have enough to fill this. I got to check my binder. We got the Duskall. We got my boy Bidoof. Most underrated Pokemon in the game. We got Simiseer. We got another Galarian Gallery card. Milk Tank. We got our boy Mew. We got the one, the only Raikou V. That is such a cool card. It's funny because I've always liked the the electric types, I like Zapdos, I like Raikou. I feel like I'm missing some of the other, I like Zekrom. But uh, that is such a cool card, honestly. Oh, and on the backside, we got the Pikachu. I should be double checking these backsides. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the Pikachu. And then, <laughs> I don't know what to go with next because it still, uh, still blows my mind about this live stream. But um, I've been chasing the gold cards ever since I collected uh, my Dialga over there and on the back side is Palkia. So all I needed left was Giratina. <laughs> all I needed left was my Giratina. And also, when there's Giratina, you need Arceus. <laughs> Can you believe that? This is, okay, let's just backtrack here. This is all from a live stream rip and ship. Poke office, one more time, shout out, Bonitis, Bonitis, and if anyone um, knows what that is, write in the comments, Bonitis, right now, but uh, that was incredible, right? So that was from the ripping into the Crown Zenith. Incredible. But uh, not only did the, did the Crown Zenith do well, but uh, lo and behold, First ever in my experience, personally, we hit one of these bad boys. And if you know what I'm talking about already, you'll know what's coming up next. Not a Mr. Mime. <laughs> Sorry. Not a Mr. Mime, but an Ivysaur. And then after that, the Venusaur EX. Believe it or not, we did it. That's definitely not $5. But uh, <laughs> I feel like he's just trolling me by putting $5 on that. Um, oh, I know why, because of the Mr. Mime. But let's put it in order, guys, because this is the craziest thing ever. We did it. We pulled it. We did the the, the impossible. The impossible happened. We pulled a god pack. We did it, guys. Ivysaur. Dude, the artwork on this is just unmatched. And then, of course, the secret rare, Venusaur EX. And to give some more context... To get the, to get where we are here, 
um, I pulled the Charizard on the live stream, the, uh, the SAR, and then I traded that for Zenith packs. And in the Zenith packs, I got all these. I got the Raikou, I got the uh, Giratina, and then I got the Arceus. So two gold cards and, <laughs> and a Raikou for a Charizard. And, th and there's some more pulls from that, I believe, too. But, I mean, that's just that's just unmanageable, unbelievable, insane luck. I think this kind of overshadows the Pikachu now. That kind of overshadows the Pikachu now. Um, so I got to get those all either in my binder um, or framed up or something. Because I got the whole set now that I have Palkia, Dialga, Giratina, and Arceus. So for me, that's really, really cool. Super shout out to them one more time. Bonitis. Okay, so last but not least, we got this bad boy, which is like super thick. I'm actually quite not concerned, but worried. I feel like I need to speed this video up. We're taking a lot of time here. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, does anyone know how to speak uh, whatever language this is? Oh, there's nothing here. Okay, let's see what this is. Let's let's rip into this. I have no idea what this one could be. I knew there was going to be some mystery to this. The last one, I knew what was coming because... Oh my gosh. I knew there was packs too. Here we go, guys. Oh. Oh, shout out. Oh, very cool. So they threw in this. This is from a, a business. Uh, the letter reads, thank you for your business. Good luck. Um, and uh, I can't even read his writing, dude. <laughs> um, thank you for your luck or thank you for your business and good luck. Uh, we'll check you next time. BCB. That is really neat. And this is my first experience with uh, Korean EV heroes. So one, two, three, four, five. And then Korean 151. One, two, three, four, five. And you know what we do on this channel? We rip packs. So let's go. Let's go. This is super exciting. I've never done this before. So let's rip through these quickly because I know we got two or three more packages left here. All right, let's start with the EV Heroes. EV Heroes is basically uh, the equivalent of, uh, what's it called in Japan, uh, English? It's, uh, oh my gosh, Evolving Skies. I just had a brain fart. I don't know what the pack trick is. And it's also like Japanese where you don't get many cards in the pack. But the difference is the backside is like English where you see yellow border still. All right, focus up. Blossom. Persia. And a hollow... Don't even know what that one's called. <laughs> um, but yeah, I know. I've been told that, you know, since how expensive Evolving Skies is, how expensive, expensive um, EV Heroes in Japan is, people are starting to make their way to the Korean side and picking up cards from uh, Korea, packs to rip from Korea. The quality is definitely different. Like, it has a different feel to it. I don't know if you can see it. Like, the backside looks a little dimmer. I don't know if that's the right way to put it. But it definitely doesn't look as vibrant. I don't know if that's a batching issue. So that was fun. Storage full. Definitely need to fix that. Okay, so back to the rip. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so these were a lot cheaper than any Evolving Skies or any EV Heroes in Japan. Hopefully we have the last video saved. If not, this should be very interesting. And I heard the pull rates are pretty good, so I guess we'll find out here. Um, EV, Pinsir, and our first hit. It's a Leafy on V. Very interesting style. I don't know how much I love. I don't know how much I love, but it's still a lot of fun because it's my first time ripping it. So let's see what we can pull here. I mean, if we pull the, the Moonbrion, that'd be pretty neat because that's in the set. 
but uh, I don't know what the odds are. Oh, I see something. I don't think it's, I think it's a V. I think it's a V. Hello, Sand, and hey, speaking of Leafeon, the Leafeon VMAX. That's a W. That's still fun. What are the, the quality is so strange to me. I don't know. Anyways, let's take one more look at this. The pack is the same, right? So just the difference is it's in Korean. Still same amount of cards per pack. Just that, like I said, the difference is the coloring. I want to say it's the... Uh, oh, I should have saved the pack. I saved the packs now. But the quality is very different. Very different. Oh, another sweat at the back. I think it's just a V card, though. Just a V card. Energy and... Glaceon, Glaceon VMAX. So very cool, very cool. First experience with that, so that's really exciting. And then my first experience with uh, 151 from Korea. Now this, I don't know what the pull rates are. I wonder if they're just as good as Japanese, if there's a chance that a God Pack, I think. If anyone wants to write in the comments about whether or not there's a God Pack. I don't even know what the pack trick is. Okay, let's go through this. We got Weedle, we got Charmander, we got a blurry camera, we got Shelter, we got the special glasses, we got the Mook, and we got, I don't think there's Master Balls in this set, but the Reverse Hollows are interesting. And then we got just a regular Hollow Moltres. I should learn Korean. <laughs> I should learn Korean, so I can sing all my K-pop songs. Obviously, um, that would be fun. Oh, we got something in the back, I think. We got Squirtle, Tangela, we got a blurry camera again. We got a Sparrow, a Persian, a Nidoran, a Reverse Pachamp, and we got our first hit. We got the Alakazam, very cool. I think I have that in like three versions now. <laughs> now I have three language versions I can put in my deck so I can learn Korean and tell them exactly what it says. Okay, a couple more of these left. We got Clefairy, we got Eevee, we got Poliwhirl, we got Pharaoh, we got an Arcanine, we got the Charmander regular reverse, and a Charizard, very cool. And I think that's only my second Charizard. They didn't really pull a lot of Charizard um, EXs. So that's really cool. Okay, a couple more of these to go. Let's keep going. Let's keep chugging through these. Good Pokemon, my best friend. I think it's just a hollow at the end, so we'll just go through it. Drowsy, Magikarp, Pitmon Lee, Ivysaur, Reverse. Oh, there's the. You can kind of see the. Pokeballs better this time. Kind of see the Pokeballs better this time. And a hollow wheezing. Wheezing. Okay, last pack. Let's pray for the best here. Pray to Arceus. It's a guy pack, which I don't even know if they have in here or not. Let's just manifest it though. Okay. Let's just quickly. No, I don't think there's much left in this. Okay. Geodude. Lickitung. Kakuna. Onyx. Uh, Scyther, Reverse, Nidoran, and a Mr. Mime. Oh no, not a Mr. Mime. <laughs> okay, so there's like just the big guys left. So we got one, we got two, and we got the biggest package left. Okay, let's see here. Let's do the biggest package. This might take a while. I'm going to speed through it. Holy moly, this was definitely taped up really well. Let me just totally destroy my... <laughs> uh, destroy all of this. Oh my gosh, I need scissors or something here. This could not have been taped up better. Shout out to, uh, I'm going to assume it's the punk office. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, as I predicted, yes. I want to say, because I sometimes like to ask for bulk, including 
the ETB that we ripped open to, so it comes with all the standards, the dice, the sleeves, the burp, the Snorlax, which actually looks like it's a pretty decent one, I want to say. You never know when they give you the promo what they're going to look like. And we got a bunch of bulk, a bunch of bulk, <laughs> a bunch of bulk. And then we got some hits here. Ooh. Oh, and a whole lot of code cards because of the TCG game that I play. And the energies, and I don't know if you can see them all. And then the hits. All right, let's get to the hits. Let's get to the hits. Just the hits, please. Top 100. As you can see, there's the Eternatus uh, Trainer Gallery card. Very neat. Very neat. I have no idea what's left in this, though. Okay, let's go from the back here. So we go Kangaskhan EX, classic, classic. We got just a regular penny sleeve, whoa. <laughs> An Arctivish, one of those Pokemon that you didn't know existed. We got a Vulpix V-Star, very nice. And we got a finally a uh, hard shell case here. We got Top Loader Poliwhirl. Ah uh, yes, the lonely, loneliest polyworld in the world. We got another penny sleeve, just a regular energy. Penny sleeve again, another energy. I'm gonna guess this is another energy. No, it's a radiant. Okay, radiant Alakazam, and then back again to the Eternatus, which is such a cool car. Duh. It's got the trainer on it. Eternatus, man. I never understood that Pokemon. It's a god Pokemon that can be controlled by a human being so whatever that means <laughs> okay and I'm not sure what this one is either oh boy what could this one be oh oh that's so random okay so there's a package within a package and this one is a build and battle scarlet and violet right on and then Okay, we'll save this for last. Let's rip open to that. Build and battle. Who knows? Who knows what's in that? Maybe... In, what was the big chase in the first set? It was... Um, not Miriam? Was it Miriam? I'm losing my mind. All right, let's rip... This is like in the worship I've ever seen. <laughs> it's been through some things. Uh, yeah, boy. I haven't opened up Scar and Violet Base in so long. What's the promo on this? Oh, we got Clackable. And a code card. And I think it's just the classic standard four packs. One, two, three, four. All right, let's get these open fast. One sec. Okay, let's do something we haven't done before. We're just going to cut open every single pack and just do a mega pack. One, two, Three, I'm not destroying the cards. Four, okay. And then we'll do one. We'll do two. Oh my gosh. Two, I'm ruining the cards. Two, this is a very fun experience for me. <laughs> two. Where are the other guys? Come on. The table is just a, a mess right now. I don't even want to look down at it. Three and four. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got from this. We got Small Live. We got Wiglet. Graveyard. Mastiff. Nest Ball. Pichirisu. Picnic Basket. Tropius Reverse. Riolu. Oh, Great Tusk, which looks like it's completely dusted. What is wrong with this card? <laughs> Energy, okay. Code card, one for the fans. Squovit. Cricketet, I can read it. Lechonk, Starly. Kilowattral. Heracross. Crocodile. Penny. Reverse Houndoom. Cloth, just a regular hollow. All right, let's keep going. Code card for the... Peeps, Olamola, Toad School, Pomno, Rodham, Florgus, Greedent, Vivalon, 
I'm just destroying these names. Klotzer. Hello, Witcher. Oh, another really, really, really dusty card. What is happening with this print set? Can everyone see that? Okay, that's hilarious. Okay, basic energy, code card for the friends. Sandile, Mareep, Silicobra, Silicobra, Bisharp, Picnic Basket, Bombardier, Hypno, Mankey. Oh my gosh, that, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? I never pulled this card. Believe it or not, I never pulled this card. And that is incredible. That is incredible. And I can't believe that. I'm going to have to sleep that one up immediately. Annihilate. Nothing, nothing, nothing code card. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Let's put a sleep on that right now. I can't believe that. I believe that's like the second best card from the set. I don't know if I'm crazy. Holy moly. Shout out to the f the family there. So this is the third of the three family set. There's um, the other two are like growing up with the family and there's like a baby and then there's like, I think like they're moving in and stuff. And so that, that's, that's so cool. I actually can't believe we just pulled that. That's probably our best hit today, guys. Shout out to the mega pack. Um, <laughs> and then last but not least is this mystery pack, which may contain anything. Even a car. Even a car. Even, uh, what is it? What is inside this? I think it's everything. We got a sweet Fue Coco coin that also looks strange to me. And there's me and my alter ego, Jayhan. Okay, so we've got the code cards. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of cards in there. Okay, we gotta go this way. <laughs> we gotta go this way, and I don't know why that energy... Why did they give me just a spy hops? That's so random. I think it's a promo card. I know why, because it's a three pack blister. Things are coming together now. That's the cloth. This is the, okay. All right, these are all the penny sleep ones. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, we just, we just pulled them right on EX. I totally forgot this too. I think this is from a drip stream. Definitely a rip and ship. That's incredible. So we got the Maridon EX. Gold, which I don't think I pulled before. We got the Iron Treads EX. Very cool. Not a very popular card, but still cool. And then we got the Coridon EX. Very cool. Very cool. Full art. And the Sandile, which I think thought was from obsidian flames but i might be wrong but still a very cool set maybe paul day actually maybe we'll do but that's pretty cool oh wow we're uh we're on to the piece de resistance we got the big boy here we got the big boy here all right let's get this open i think i know what this is i think i know what this is and there should be nothing else in there. There should be nothing else in there. Okay. Yeah. It is what I think it is. It is what I think it is. It is what I've been waiting for. And I couldn't believe I got. But if you can see it already, shout out. It's it's the Mewtwo 581 Pokemon exclusive Pearlescent Pikachu. No, I'm kidding. Mewtwo. First ever purchase uh, from the Pokemon Center, actually. So that is really cool. It's got the old stamp, which I guess proves that it's from there, even though it looks like you could kind of make one yourself. But it, it is really nice. And I'm really happy, you know, as a, as a Mewtwo fan, you gotta, you gotta represent. This is gonna be on the desk every time we rip. And that's really cool. It says vinyl figure. I feel like it should say pearlescent though, but there we go. Well done, Mewtwo. You're going to go dead center right now. You've now taken over the numero uno spot. Um, and yeah, thank you guys. If you've made it this far, please uh, remember to like, subscribe, comment. Um, that was a really fun experience. I don't think we need to rip any more packs. We just ripped open a ton. I didn't realize there was going to be that many. So for me, that was uh, that was mail day. So if you want, you can always send some mail to me if you if you feel and you choose to. 
And if uh, you enjoyed this style of video, please make sure to comment that you did. Um, maybe I'll rip into some of these, uh, these candies just for me. Actually, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you guys. This is Professor Joke, and uh, we're signing off. Peace.